Hello, my name's Will from Little Angel, and today I'm going to be telling the story of Persephone and the ancient Greek myth of how the four seasons came to be. Now, back in ancient Greek times, Zeus was the king of all of the gods in ancient Greece. He had two brothers and three sisters. All of the gods had jobs, but Zeus's sister Demeter had one of the most important ones. She was in charge of the harvest. There were many, many temples in ancient Greece dedicated just to Demeter because her job was so important. Nearly everyone, gods and mortals, did their best to keep Demeter happy. Because if Demeter became sad and did not do her job, the crops would die and everybody would starve. The gods, being the gracious and loving chaps that they are, did not want the ancient Greek people to starve. After all, they were having far too much fun interfering in their lives. Demeter had a little daughter, Persephone, and she loved her dearly. They played together in the fields almost every day. As Persephone smiled up at her mother, Demeter's heart would swell with happiness and the crops would grow high and healthy, flowers tumbling upwards everywhere. As time passed, Persephone grew to be a lovely goddess. And that's when the trouble started. Hades, the king of the underworld. Now, he was a gloomy fellow. He would spend most of his time in his underground kingdom. But one day, Hades felt restless. He needed a break from the darkness of the underworld, so he decided to take his three-headed dog out with him for a chariot ride. Cerberus, his dog, usually stood guard at the gates to the underworld, but Hades liked to give his pup a break now and then. He scooped up Cerberus and left a couple of spirits in charge instead. Hades flew his chariot up to the earth, and as soon as he arrived, Cerberus leapt out of the chariot and ran around, sniffing flowers with all three of his heads, barking at nothing, having a little wee up against a tree. Dog stuff, you know. The dog ran up to a lovely young woman. It was the goddess Persephone. Now, some people might have been startled if a three-headed dog came tearing up to them, but Persephone only laughed and scratched his head. It's all in beauty. Hades loved that old dog. He watched Cerberus playing happily with Persephone. He heard Persephone's delighted laugh, and Hades fell deeply in love. Before anyone could stop him, he had grabbed Persephone, his dog, and his chariot, and he dove deep into the darkest depths of the underworld. Hades locked Persephone in a beautifully decorated room in his largest hall. He brought her all kinds of delicious foods, but Persephone refused to eat. She had heard that if you ate anything in the underworld, you could never leave. She had every intention of leaving as soon as she could figure out how to do so. Over a week went by. Finally, in desperate hunger, Persephone ate six pomegranate seeds and she promptly burst into tears. And she was not the only one crying. Demeter, her mother, missed her daughter terribly. She did not care if the crops died. She did not care about anything except for finding her daughter. Zeus, she shouted, Zeus! It was clear to Zeus from her tone that this could not go on. So Zeus sent his son Hermes to work a deal with Hades. After many days locked in negotiations, this was the deal that Hermes worked out. If Persephone would marry Hades, she would live as queen of the underworld for six months, each winter one month for each pomegranate seed that she ate. In the spring, Persephone would return to Earth and live there for six months. No one especially liked the deal, but everyone finally agreed. Every spring, Demeter makes sure the flowers are blooming and the crops are growing and the fields are green with welcome. Every autumn, when Persephone returns to the underworld, Demeter ignores the crops and the flowers and lets them die. Each spring, Demeter brings 
everything to life again, ready to welcome her daughter's return. To the ancient Greeks, this was the reason for the seasons. Winter, spring, summer and autumn. The end.